Creating a candle timer like this in the MediaTrader 5 is actually super easy. All you have to do is go to Tools, MediaCourse Language Editor, then create a new expert advisor in the upper left corner, choose any name like candle timer, click on next, and then make sure the on timer function is checked. If you click on next and finish, it will create a brand new expert advisor for you. I personally like to rearrange my brackets like this and I also deleted all of the comments. So then here you can see in the on init, we see the on event set timer function. We can set this to one. So every one second, the on timer function is called. In the on D init function, the event kill timer function is called to delete or kill the timer. So we are prepared to set a new timer in the on init. Then in the on timer function here, we do a few things. First of all, we want to get the time of the next bar. And this would be I time. In the on timer function, we want to do a few things. First, we need the seconds of the next bar in the chart. Here we get the seconds for the current bar in the chart. And then we add the period seconds for the current chart time frame. Next, we also want to get the current seconds that passed since the 1st January of 1970, which we can get by using the time current function. Now, the last step is really easy. We just want to write a chart comment here. You can write anything like, for example, next bar in, and then you can just say second uh, next bar minus second current. And that's pretty much it. And if you compile this, go back to your meter trader, then find the program here. And here it is candle timer. Now I can run this on the chart and you can see in the upper left corner, we should see next bar is coming up in 19, 18, 17 and so on seconds.